Do you know the difference between a cloud architect versus a cloud engineer? If not, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects and we're an organization dedicated towards building high performance cloud computing careers. And today we're going to talk about the differences of cloud architects versus cloud engineers. Both are fantastic careers. The reason we're going to do a deep dive in this is there is so much confusion between a cloud architect and a cloud engineer that we want to clear that up for you. The reason we want to clear it up and the confusion is so concerning is a cloud architect and a cloud engineer are so different and their training needs to be different. Train like a cloud engineer and try and get a job as a cloud architect and it'll be problematic. Train as a cloud architect and look for a cloud engineer career and again, it'll be problematic. So let's define what a cloud architect is, what a cloud engineer is, and the major differences with the jobs so you can be prepared for the job you want so you can get hired. When you're looking to get your first cloud job, whether it's as a cloud architect or as a cloud engineer, you need to be what the employer desires since they're gonna hire you. So let's tell you the difference. The main difference between an architect versus an engineer is related to the actual job. First and foremost, Cloud architects and architects in general design things. Cloud engineers and engineers in general build and configure things. So there's a big difference between designing something and building something. So if you want to train to design, train to design. And if you want to train to configure and build, train to configure and build. But the type of training that people typically do in AWS certification training, for example, is related to cloud engineer training. Learn the service, learn the idiosyncrasies of the service, and then learn how to configure them. Cloud engineer. By comparison, a cloud architect does more architecture things, meaning they look at the business things, and we're going to talk about this in much more depth. They look at the goals, and then they look at the systems that are in place, and then they look for systems that can improve the business's performance. Very different design versus configuration. So now that you know that AWS certification training, which is by the way, wonderful, and it's a critical part of your cloud architect or cloud engineering career, what it's designed for is, which is teaching configuration, don't count on that if you're looking to build a cloud architect career. You're gonna to have to do something different. So let's really look at the differences in the characteristics a little more, because it's so important. As a rule, a cloud engineer or an engineer will have deep, deep, deep knowledge of the service and they'll know everything about the service, how to configure it and even how to automate things. So for example, a cloud engineer, if we were talking about AWS S3, will have deep knowledge of S3. They're gonna know how to secure everything from an IAM perspective. They're not gonna know how to configure all the options. They're gonna know all about the lifecycle policies. They're gonna know everything and they're gonna look at every possible way to use it and actually to configure it and really maximize what you're gonna get out of that which is great. A cloud architect by definition is gonna deal with a client. For example, they're gonna meet with the client and the client's gonna say, we have a petabyte on object storage. And they're gonna ask them the use cases to make sure it belongs in object storage. And they're gonna know when they go to the cloud, we have a petabyte of object storage that we need that we need to migrate to the cloud. So they're gonna be looking for solutions to do that, basically take what exists and migrate it to the cloud. So big difference between knowing you need some, a service, saying, yes, we need object storage, we'd also like to use some type of a lifecycle policy versus being the person that configures it. So the architect is gonna to have to have a big global knowledge of everything that's necessary to put this big solution together. They're gonna to have to know about the compute, they're gonna to have to know about the network, they're gonna to have to know about the storage, they're gonna to have to understand applications. They're going to have to understand business. See, a cloud architect is a hybrid role. It's a cross between a business position and a technology position because as an architect, you're gonna meet with a client, possibly even including the CEO or the CIO. You're gonna ask their business goals, their legal requirements, their technical requirements, and then you're gonna design a solution to meet those requirements and optimally improve the performance of the business. And then when you're done designing that architecture, you're gonna give it to a cloud engineer in most cases to actually build it. So you have to understand that it's a hybrid role as a cloud architect between business and technical. Your goal is to optimize the business's performance with technology. So it's a position of, for the most part, designing things, presenting things. So ask the questions, figure out the technology solution, 
document your solution, present your solution. That's the job of an architect. So when you understand that the engineer is more about the detailed configuration and the architecture is more about knowing the overall package and how the pieces integrate together, now you know what to do when you're training. So if you're an architect, learn how all the components of the cloud work. Learn virtualization, learn containers, learn storage, learn networking, learn security. Learn it from a technology level so you're best prepared to pick the best solution to solve your client's challenges. And if you're an engineer, you have to study depth in depth about each one of these services so you may not have the opportunity, in fact you won't, to learn the global overall picture of how everything works together, but you're gonna focus on a small set of this and you're gonna know everything about it. And that's wonderful. So. If you wanna be a cloud architect, focus on executive communication, emotional intelligence, presentation skills, writing skills, and most importantly, how all the pieces and parts work. And if you wanna be a cloud engineer, focus on the depth of knowing everything about a little service and how to configure it. Now you know the difference between the cloud architect and the cloud engineer, so you are prepared to set up your training so you can build the career of your dreams. Now let me tell you about some things that we do to help the cloud community specifically the cloud architect community and the business community that wants to study cloud computing. We have on Monday and on Thursday, a free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar. And on these webinars that we do free Monday and Thursday, and the link is in the description below, we tell you how to get your first job. We tell you what employers desire. We tell you how to build a resume of competency. We teach you how to build that depth of knowledge that's necessary. We show you how to get real cloud architect experience so employers can look at your experience and hire you. We teach you how to interview and so much more. Again, it's free on Mondays and Thursdays. Now, every Tuesday, we have a cloud architect experience webinar where we will do things like work through cloud architectural problems together. So we do some cloud architecture training. We will tell you how to get the experience, the types of experience that employers actually desire. So you can put on your resume things that employers desire versus things that are necessarily not related to your job. Like if you're an architect, you wanna do architecture work. You don't wanna do so much implementation engineering work. And you need to have the right thing on your resume for the right job. And we do that for free every Tuesday. Many Wednesdays, but not all, we do a YouTube Live where we answer any kind of cloud computing career questions you may have. And we love doing this. We go online, you ask us questions, we answer them. To further assist you in your cloud computing journey or your tech career development journey, we have an Ask Cloud Mike. And basically, the link is again for the description below with that email address. If you've got a technology question you desire to answer towards building your career, send us an email and we'll do everything we can to try and build a YouTube video for you in the next week or two based upon your questions so we can answer them in depth for you. If you're working, an AWS Certified Solution Architect certification. We have a free AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate ebook and course, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. We look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.